Every morning, God gives us this visual aid of a new start, a fresh beginning. And what better day to receive that on this day, Easter day. The sun is rising every morning, and on this day, the sun of another kind rises. Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. That's news to proclaim on every hilltop, over every city. And what better vantage point than this one, One Tree Hill? A message over the whole city, over every life. This is where we come with family and friends to catch the whole of London in a single glance. It gives you a whole new way to see the city. And Easter Day is a way to see the whole of your life in a radically new way. This is what Mary Magdalene experiences on the first Easter Day for herself. She gets up early in the morning she goes to the tomb of Jesus. There's no hope, no expectation. All she has in her hands are some spices to embalm a, a dead body. And she goes there with some of the other disciples. She goes out of duty, out of devotion, out of respect. But what happens on that first Easter morning changes her life, gives her a whole new understanding of what has been as she's followed Jesus and what is to come. Jesus is alive. He is risen. He is risen indeed. This is what happens at the tomb. Then the disciples went back to their homes, but Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and one at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who is it that you're looking for? Thinking that he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet returned to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am returning to my Father and your Father, to your God and my God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord, she said, and she told them that he had said these things to her. One word from the risen Lord brings Mary back to life to new life, to resurrection life. Jesus is sharing his resurrection life uh, with her and through her to all the other disciples by revealing his presence to her and by calling her name. Verse 16 in our reading, Jesus said to her, Mary. Easter is a turning point in human history. It's a turning point in the story of Mary's life when she meets Jesus and receives his power, his presence, his purpose for her life. To join an Easter people who follow the same risen Lord, the one who alone on earth conquers the power of sin and death, gives us like the rising sun every morning, promise of new hope, of a fresh beginning. This is the same Jesus who calls you, who calls me, who offers us a change for good. Jesus calls it being born again. To meet with you this Easter day is his promise, his invitation. To meet with you wherever you're at, whoever you are, 
however it's going. He met Mary in her tiredness after a sleepless night. He met her in her grief at hope stashed, her emptiness at witnessing her Lord and Saviour die on a cross. But her pain is removed, her hurt is healed, simply by the calling of her name, by the meeting with Jesus, the risen Lord, like the sun rising over the whole of the city. Jesus is risen again. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you for the Easter message, the good news that Jesus is alive. As the risen Lord Jesus met with Mary, would you meet with us, Lord, this day? As you met with her in her hurt, in her pain, in her loss, in her hopelessness, meet with us, Lord Jesus, meet with this city, meet with everyone who turns to you. May we share in and give to others your resurrection life. In Jesus' name, amen.